legendary explorer Indiana Jones has hit a rough patch in his life after his son Mutt died in Vietnam, which led to him and Marion getting a divorce. After he is pushed into retirement, he is found by Helena Shaw, daughter of Indy's late colleague Basil. The two were involved in taking the Archimedes dial away from the Nazis, but the mysteries of the dial drove Basil insane. Helena wants Indy's help in finding them so she can be a renowned archaeologist like him and her father. A Nazi named Jürgen Baller and his men are after the dial in the hopes that it can send them back in time to undo the outcome of World War II so the Nazis become victorious. Indy and Helena lose the first half of the dial in Tangier after joining Helena's young sidekick Teddy. They get help from Indy's captain friend Ronaldo to take them to the Aegean Sea to find a tablet that can take them to the tomb of Archimedes, where the other half of the dial is. The Nazis find them and kill Ronaldo, but the heroes take the tablet and learn the tomb is in Sicily. After finding the other half, the Nazis catch up to the heroes, and Valar puts the two halves together. He takes Indy with him through a portal that they think will take them to the start of the war, only for them to end up at the siege of Syracuse in 212 BC. Valar and his henchman Kleber perish when the soldiers shoot their plane down. Indy and Helena meet Archimedes himself, who always intended for the dial to be used to return him back to that era. Indy wants to stay there so he can be part of history and because he doesn't think he has a future back home, but Helena, who followed with Teddy, makes him come back to their era. Indy ends up back home and ends up reconciling with Marion.